In this video, we'll take a look at the new At Games Legends Core Max. This device connects to your existing TV or monitor and includes 100 built-in arcade and console games. If you enjoy playing pinball, like I do, you can also purchase and install pinball volumes which play at 1080p 60fps. If the included 100 games aren't enough, you can also set up and insert a USB thumb drive which allows playing hundreds or even thousands of additional games. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. I briefly want to mention if you visit wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash AL Core Max, you'll find the Legends Core Max Guide. This new guide covers most of the information in this video, as well as any updated information that becomes available in the future regarding the Core Max. The Legends Core Max is the latest device from At Games, and At Games did send me this unit for the purpose of review and guide development. It's got 100 built-in games, and the retail units will be shipping around April 2022. We'll go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. First off is a fold-out instruction manual, which includes some basic setup information. Feel free to pause any of that if you want to see it. A power adapter is also included, and this one outputs 5 volts and 3 amps, as well as a micro USB to USB Type-A cable for supplying power to the Legends Core Max. There is a rather short HDMI mail-to-mail -mail cable included for attaching the unit to the back of your TV. And of course the unit itself. Taking a look at the ports, here we have the pairing button, a micro USB port for power, the HDMI port for connecting to a TV, a single USB 3.0 port, an Ethernet port for a hardwired network connection, and it also has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built in. On the bottom, you have rubber feet in order to keep it secure on your table or desk. The Core Max is substantially larger than the Legends Core that is included with the Gamer Mini and Gamer Pro, and of course you can also use the Core Max with those arcade controls as well. The Legends Core is model HA2811, and the Core Max is HA2819, in case you need that for reference. From the side, the Max is about a third taller than the Legends Core, and about the same for the width as well. The reason for this is due to the faster processor. It uses the same RK3399 CPU found in the Legends Pinball Machine, which provides up to 1080p 60fps video output, and it has 2GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage. I'll slide the retail unit off to the side, and here we have an earlier version of the Core Max PCB in case you're curious what it looks like. It's passively cooled using a rather large heatsink for the GPU and CPU. That is, there is no internal fan and thus no noise being generated by the unit itself. It's actually a pretty cool design, and I'm happy to see that they've added a more powerful CPU to the Max. Now let's go ahead and get everything connected. First off, we'll plug in the HDMI cable, then the micro USB cable for power, and there is no power switch, which is an unfortunate omission. Although there is a very simple solution if you prefer to have a switch, I picked up this micro USB on off switch from Amazon for about $5. Connect the female end to the power cable and the male end into the Legends Core Max, and the problem solved. Now let's talk about controls. You can use a wireless game controller with your Legends Core Max or a wired controller such as this clone Xbox controller. I did need to add a small unpowered USB hub for the USB drive and the controller and also map the buttons under the controller settings tile. You can also use the Legends Core Max as an easy way to upgrade your Legends Ultimate via APL or Arcade Play Link. No OTG connection is used, only a single HDMI cable which sends both the video and data through a single cable. Pressing the channel button will switch the input over to the Max. To demonstrate, I'll turn the LED on and off directly from the Legends Ultimate. And of course, you can play any games on the Max using the ALU's controls. Unfortunately, the Legends Core Max does not include any new games that show off the power of the faster processor. All the included games are the same games you'll find on the Legends Core. 
Now, don't get me wrong, there are some great games that are included, some you may know, and others are a bit more obscure. However, the only games currently available from App Store X that take advantage of the faster processor is the Zakaria and Tato pinball tables running at 1080p 60fps. It would have been ideal to include some unique titles to demonstrate the upgraded CPU. However, I will show you some exciting community efforts later in this video. While in-game, you can press the menu to reveal a number of settings, such as the save slots for saving the progress of your game. Some, but not all games, have the ability to upload your high score to the leaderboards, and you can use the joystick config to emulate a four-way restrictor gate. Within the display mode, you can set the size of the screen as fit, fill, pixel perfect, or center. If you prefer scan lines, you can set it for horizontal, vertical, or no scan lines. Now let's check out some gameplay of the included games, starting with Burger Time. And one of my favorites, Elevator Action. And here's a game I'm really lousy at, but we're going to show it anyway, Neo Drift Out. And one I used to play on the SNES years ago, Super Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. It brings back some memories for sure. <laughs> you can also stream games to your Core Max using ArcadeNet, which includes both free and paid options. If you'd like to play online multiplayer games, you'll definitely want to check out The Lobby. Next, we'll move on over to the Settings tab where you'll find the Wi-Fi app to connect to your local network and the app for signing in or out of your free or paid Arcade Net account. Navigating a few pages to the right, you'll find the Version app where you can download and update to the latest firmware. If you want to install any pinball volumes, CoinOps X, or other applications, you will need a USB thumb drive such as this one. After connecting, make sure the drive icon in the upper right isn't blinking. And then, select the Flash Drive X application to format and mount the drive. You only need to format the drive once, and then after that, simply mount the drive and say yes, and now the drive is available for installing additional applications. Also on the single USB stick is a separate partition which I configured with CoinOps X. We'll discuss that shortly. Switching to the BYOG tab and selecting Add on X, you can browse the games that were added although CoinOps X provides a much nicer way of navigating the game list. Within the App Store X tab, you can install any pinball volumes you purchased and redeemed through the My Digital Locker application, as well as additional applications including CoinOps X. If you want to play arcade games on your Core Max in horizontal or landscape mode, you can visit wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash al dash CoinOps X for a guide that P-Dubs and I partnered to create on how to prepare the USB drive. If you prefer to use your Macs in a vertical or portrait orientation, instructions on how to set up the Whopper with Cheese version may also be helpful to you. One thing I noticed, which may not be readily apparent if you're not familiar with the ALU or Core, is navigating the letters on the right is faster on the Macs. Little things like scrolling the game list appear to be a bit smoother as well. Starting with NBA Jam, we'll take a quick look at a few CoinOps X games. Worthy. Worthy. While Popeye is a retro game from the early 80s, given the faster processor on the Max, it's quite likely we'll see PS1, Dreamcast, and perhaps some PSP games running on the Max in the future. I've seen other devices using the same chipset that can play many of those systems quite well.
Next, we'll take a brief look at one of the more CPU intensive Zicaria Deluxe Volume 5 pinball tables. For the best pinball experience, we'll rotate the display in vertical or portrait mode. I'll then select a game and press the menu button and then move down to platforms and we'll select Zicaria Volume 5 here on the bottom. You can play in landscape mode as well, but this is how I prefer to play pinball. I'll now go ahead and launch House of Diamonds Deluxe. On the left side, we have the video capture, and on the right, my portable monitor. Let's have some fun. One thing that sets the deluxe tables apart from some of the other tables is its use of animated characters. Triple combo! Press flippers to control the hammer. Don't hit the ball! Let's do that again. Double jackpot. Triple jackpot. We've reached the end of another video, so I'll provide my thoughts on the Legends Core Max. First off, many of the included games are a lot of fun, but without any new games that demonstrate the power of the upgraded processor, uh, well, that was an area of improvement. I did experience some latency while using the Legends gamepad controller, which I haven't noticed on any other Legends devices, and hopefully that will be corrected prior to shipment. That said, playing pinball volumes was a great experience. While I prefer to play pinball tables on the Legends pinball, there is a massive price difference between the two machines, which will make it more attractive to many. Using only an HDMI cable via APL or the Arcade Play Link is a great way to upgrade the performance of the Legends Ultimate. That is, assuming we'll soon see some additional coin X games or game packs that take advantage of the faster CPU. If and when that happens, I'll definitely be showing it on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it informative, please click the like button. If you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe. And with that, I will talk to you again very soon.